Now let us discuss another important method in our uh, Vedic maths for the divisions that is Paravartya method. Okay. In Paravartya method, uh, you may think one thing, okay, you may observe one thing. The divisions, okay, which are uh, by the divisions which are closer to 100, especially which are below the 100 or below the 1000 or below 10,000, okay, which are below the base, we can use the Nikulam method. But for the numbers which are just above the base, but for the divisors which are just above the base we can go for the Paravartha method now let us see how for example i want to divide 1345 by 112 that is 112 now do one thing just write down 112 like this okay that's big power 1 3 4 5 now you just put a bar like this under the device okay uh, leaving the leftmost digit what is the leftmost digit here one that is hundreds place okay leaving the leftmost digit now write the remaining digits as it is but with the opposite signs that is negative you need to transpose and apply transpose Pajavartya means what transpose okay so leaving the leftmost digit the remaining numbers the remaining digits you need to drop it as it is but with the opposite signs here it is plus right so it is i'm putting as minus so minus one minus two now what you need to do just see here first simply drop the first digit as it is that is one i'm dropping the first digit as it is now one this first digit should be multiplied with the uh, negative complements whatever we wrote here with this with these numbers 1 into minus 1 minus 2 so right from the second column 1 into minus 1 1 into minus 2 minus 2 okay now solve the second column as it is so 3 minus 1 how much 2 so right here 2 after writing 2 again multiply the second digit the quotient figure digit second quotient figure with the complements again negative complements so 2 into minus 1 minus 2 2 into minus 1 but in the third row you need to write you have to start in the next row and also at the same time from the third column this is the first column second column now you have to start from the third column okay so 2 into minus 1 minus 2 2 into minus 2 minus 4 like that first drop the first digit as it is so one now after dropping the first digit multiply the first digit with the complements so one into minus one minus two one into minus one minus one one into minus two minus two now this is the second row now the next step will be in the third row after that fourth row like that it will go so first in the second step solve the second column only this is the second column solve the second column only 3 minus 1 2 now in the after uh, you will get one figure right 3 minus 1 2 multiply that figure with the negative complements again so 2 into minus 1 minus 2 2 into minus but you need to put those numbers in the third column so 2 into minus 1 minus 2 2 into minus 2 minus 4 okay starting with the third row third column and third row you need to start so now we can stop here why because the last digit of the dividend also covered now now you solve the remaining so 4 minus 2 minus 2 minus 4 4 minus 4 0 what is 5 minus 4 1 so finally we got this number 1 to 0 1 but in this one okay which are the quotient digits and which are the remain uh, remainder digits we have to find out in this one to get the quotient digits okay to get the quotient digits you just do one thing to get the quotient digits how many number of uh, take the difference of take the difference of the number of digits in the dividend take the difference of number of digits in the dividend as well as number of digits in the divisor here in the dividend we have four digits here in the divisor we have three digits okay what is the difference between 4 and 3 it is 1 to this the to this result add 1 so 1 plus 1 equal to 2 so the quotient figure will have two digits from the left two digits from the left that means 
the remainder okay the quotient will be 2 and remainder will be how much 0 1 once again I am repeating this one so to get the number of digits to get the number of days for the quotient as well as remainder what you need to do simply take the difference of number of days in the dividend as well as number of days in the divisor 4 minus 3 plus 1 okay 4 minus 3 plus 1 how much 1 plus 1 2 so finally there are number of 2 days for the quotient is 2 so from the left side the left 2 days will be our quotient and the right side 2 days will be our remainder now let us discuss the next example 1357 divided by 113 so write down 113 1357 okay so now 113 now what you need to write here first of all in 113 leave the leftmost digit and write the negative numbers of transpose of the remaining digits that is minus 1 minus 3 leave the leftmost okay now so just drop the first digit as it is so dropping the first digit that is 1 as it is okay i'm writing here 1 now multiply this 1 with the com negative complements 1 into minus 1 minus 3 St start in the second column second row this is the first row this is the first column so okay the after dropping the first digit and multiplying with the negative complements okay putting the answers in the second row and starting from the second column so 1 into minus 1 minus 1 1 into minus 3 minus 3 okay now solve only the second column so that in the next step you will start with third row and third column now what is 3 minus 1 2 what is 3 minus 1 2 now 2 should be multiplied with the negative complements 2 into minus 1 and 2 into minus 3 but it, you have to start in the third row third column so 2 into minus 1 minus 2 2 into minus 3 minus 6 now you can stop why because even the last digit of the dividend is also covered now solve this one 5 minus 5 0 7 minus 6 1 so in the same way how to find out the number of digits of the quotient to get the number of digits of the quotient we have to follow one rule what is that rule take the difference of the number of digits in the dividend and the number of days in the divisor in the number of days in the dividend is how many 4 and the number of days in the divisor is 3 4 minus 3 plus 1 so 4 minus 3 plus 1 it's 2 so again the quotient figure is the left to 2 digits that is 2 and the remainder is 0 1 understand now let us go for the another example that is third example so 2587 division by 2 you do one thing you just try this one you just try this one take a pass you just try this one okay and after the uh, solving the problem you can check with the answer now let us see so 2 5 okay 1 1 2 division by 2 5 8 7 so first what you need to do right take the negative complements of uh, leaving the leftmost digit take the negative complements of the remaining digits so first drop the first digit 2 now first digit into complements so 2 into minus 1 minus 2 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 you have to start from second row second column now in the next step third row third column right there now solve this only the second column 5 minus 2 3 now this digit should be multiplied with the negative complement starting with the third row third column 3 into minus 1 minus 3 3 into minus 2 minus 6 so now solve the remaining a okay now you have to stop why because even the last digit of the dividend is also covered so 8 minus 7 is 1 7 minus 6 is 1 as we already discussed how we can get the number of division uh, number of dates in the quotient part starting from the left so to get the number of uh, days in the quotient part take the difference of number of digits in the quotient as uh, sorry take the number of uh, take the difference of number of digits in the uh, dividend and the number of digits in the divisor plus one once again i repeat to get the number of digits from the left of the quotient figure what you need to do take the difference of the number of days in the dividend plus my take the difference of the number of digits in the dividend and number of days in the divisor 
Suppose here number of digits in the dividend is 4. Number of digits in the divisor is 3. So 4 minus 3 plus 1. So how much? 2. So again 2. So the uh, left two digits will be our quotient that is 23. Okay. And the remaining part will be our remainder that is 11. Now let us see one another uh, one other big example. Okay. Now let us see some more bigger examples in Paravartha method. First. 13,799 divided by 113. First, what you need to do? Write down the divisor that is 113. Okay. 137. Then the dividend figures 13799. Now, what is the next step? Leaving the leftmost digit, uh, digit that is 100's place, leaving the leftmost digit in the uh, divisor. Write down the negative comp for the remaining digits, write down as it is, but with the negative signs that is transpose. Okay, after this one, what is the next step? Drop the first digit as it is. I'm dropping the first digit as it is, that is one. After dropping one, okay, the digit should be multiplied with the negative complements, that is one into minus one. See the next step, okay, first column is solved and first row is solved. Now you have to go for second row, second column. Now you have to start with second row and second column. Okay. Now one into minus one, minus one, one into minus three, minus three. Now solve the second row. Okay. Three minus sorry. Now solve the second column. That is three minus one is two. Now two should be multiplied with the negative complements and then start with the third row, third column. So two into minus one, minus two, two into minus three, minus six. Done. Now solve the third column also. 7 minus 5. That is minus 3 minus 2 minus 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. Okay. Now the third figure should be multiplied with the complements again. 2 into minus 1. But you need to start with the yes fourth column. So 2 into minus 1 minus 2. 2 into minus 3 minus 6. Now you can stop. Why? Because even the last digit of the uh, dividend is also covered. Now solve the remaining values. So how much? 9 minus 6 plus 2, 8. So 9 minus 8 is 1. 9 finally last uh, column, 9 minus 6 is 3. Now, what is our quotient figure? You tell me. As we already discussed, the number of digits in the quotient will be given. Okay, the number of digits in the quotient will be given by the number of by the difference of the number of digits of dividend as well as divisor so what are the number of digits in the dividend number of digits in the dividend is 5 and what is the number of digits in the divisor 3 so 5 minus 3 how much 2 plus 1 5 minus 3 2 plus 1 that means how much 5, 5 minus 3 2 plus 1 3 that means the quotient figure here we have the 3 d's from the left from the left and the remaining part will be our remainder so what is our quotient our quotient is 122 and 13 is our remainder like that we have to solve now let us see the next one now let us see the next example so write down the divisor as it is next take the dividend 2583789 now what is the next step leaving the leftmost place leaving the leftmost digit write the negative complement negative num uh, numbers of all the remaining digits down that is transpose write the remaining digits as it is first and putting with the minus symbols zero anyway it doesn't have any minus or plus okay now see here what is the first step drop the first digit as it is so that first first row and first column will be finished two now the first digit should be multiplied with the negative uh, complements here so 2 into minus 2 minus 4 starting with the second row second column second row second column 2 into minus 2 minus 4 2 into minus 3 minus 6 2 into 0 0 2 into minus 2 minus 4 done now solve only the second column that is 5 minus 4 1 okay now the second digit of the quotient figure should be multiplied with the negative complements again but starting with the third row third column 1 into minus 2 minus 2 1 into minus 3 minus 3 1 into 0 0 1 into minus 2 minus 2 
Done. Now solve the third column. 8 minus 8, 0. Now 0 should be multiplied with again the complements. But no need. Why? Because you need to remember one thing here. Since the last digit is also covered in the dividend, you need to stop there only. Now solve the remaining every, everything. Solve the remaining columns. 8 minus 8 is 0. 3 minus 3 is 0. 7 minus 4 is 3. 8 minus 2 is 6. So we have got these digits. Now how to find out which is our quotient? Quotient will start from left anyway. And how many digits will be in our quotient? Take the difference of number of days in the dividend and the number of days in the divisor plus 1 will give the number of days of quotient from left. Number of days of dividend will be 6. Number of days of divisor will be 5. 6 minus 5. 1 plus 1. 2. That means there are two, uh, two number of digits from the left for our quotient and the remaining will be our remainder. Okay. So like that. So, take a pass now. Take a pass and you check the, you do the next problem. After doing the problem, check with, cross check with my answer. Done? Let us see. Say, write down 13103289487. So, first leaving the leftmost digit, write the remaining numbers as it is but with negative signs anyway 3 0 will not have any sign so what is the first step drop the first digit as it is so that I, 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 I am solved with first row first column okay now 2 into every digit should be multiplied with the first figure 2 into minus 3 minus 6 starting with second column second row 2 into minus 1 minus 2 2 into 0 0 2 into minus 3 minus 6 now solve the second row, second column. 8 minus 6 is 2. Now, two should, again the second figure of the quotient digit, that is 2, should be multiplied with the negative complements. 2 into minus 3, starting with the third, third this time, third column. 2 into minus 3, minus 6. 2 into minus 1, minus 2. 2 into 0, 0. 2 into minus 3, minus 6. Now, all the digits are covered in the dividend. Now you can stop and solve the remaining columns. So what is 9? Okay, 2, 6, 8. So 9 minus 8 is 1. 4 minus 2 is 2. 8 minus 6 is 2. And finally 7 minus 6 is 1. Now you tell me uh, how many number of uh, days will get in the question part. Start from the left side. How many days? So 6 minus 5 1 plus 1 2 so the right leftmost two days will be our quotient and the remaining will be our remainder so like that we can solve uh, the divisions of the bigger dividends even with the bigger divisors which are just above the base the numbers which are just above the base so it is known as Paryavarta Yojayet one more one more important point how will we key, how we will get the number of digits in the quotient part from the left means take the difference of number of days in the dividend and number of days in the divisor plus one will give the number of days of the quotient starting from the left so that's how we can easily solve the division problems which are which are having the divisors just above the base with the help of Parivartha method whereas which are the if the divisors are below the base we have to go for Nikhilam method. Now, next we will see the application of general technique. How to solve any number by any number. Done.